What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to absolutely obliterate Cover 2 or Tampa 2 from the spread offense in Madden 21. What's up guys? My name is Cody and my channel is designed to help you become a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you want to get better at this game, we are in the off-season mode, getting ready for Madden 22, really training hard, labbing as much as we possibly can, looking at things that have worked years in and years out. And this is a concept that you can actually carry over into uh, Madden 22. This play is going to work just like it does in Madden 20, 21. Um, but the play comes to us out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. I'm back in spread. I love spread. Spread is so much fun. And um, if you want to have some fun, be sure to pick up the True Fan membership in the description. It breaks down basically what I'm running every single week. So it's literally the most up-to-date schemes on offense and on defense. You get an update video every single week talking about what I'm doing, what I'm learning. Um, maybe maybe I'm taking some stuff from other players. Maybe I'm doing my own stuff. But if you want to get access to that, that is in the description below. It's just 5 bucks a month. And it's the best way that you can be most up to date. We give you an offensive and defensive meta update every single week. And we also break down pro players every single week and kind of share, you know, kind of what they're doing as well. Now, coaching adjustments wise, you're going to see I'm going to put my flats on 30, my uh, curl flats on 10 and 10. So this is kind of a, a standard way that people like to run this uh, this Tampa 2. So I'm going to grab Tampa 2 from the Mike Blitz uh, or from the, um, oh gosh, the 3 5 wide, which if you don't already know, uh, 335 wide is going to be just as good in Madden 22 as it is in Madden 21. At least from all the testing that I've done in the beta, it is still the best defense in the game, uh, just with the way it's going to work. But anyways, we're going to go with the Y cross on offense. And you're going to see here, I'm just going to audible down to that Tampa 2. I'm going to kind of set up my um, my press, obviously. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of uh, a little bit of Mabel coverage here if I can get my controller to, to cooperate. Um you're going to see, and of course, I'm not going to be able to do it. So uh, we're just going to get on the on the D-line here. But you see, just Tampa 2 with a 30-yard cloud. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is really, really simple. All we're going to do is call Y cross. Uh, I like to take the running back and put him on a delay route, little delay flat route. Um, if you want to, you can put triangle on a hitch. But I love this little five-yard uh, out route. It's really good against match coverage as well as cover two sync. But anyway, what you're going to see is this stock fade to the left side. Basically, all you're going to do is you're just going to simply pass lead that to the outside, and you're going to have an instant bomb against cover two. It's really, really simple, um, and it's really, really effective. There's really not a way for them to defend this. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is some things that a lot of people do is they'll move this guy over to the numbers. Um, so they're trying to give him kind of a head start. Let me show you what that looks like when it comes back to like Y cross, for example. This is different than most uh, zones, but because this route really fades to the outside, um, you can basically swerve catch this because of the movement. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to Tampa 2 here, you're gonna see I'm gonna move this guy out, okay? And then pass him in, of course. Now, if you watch this, this Y cross, okay? Just pay attention here, but basically, we can kind of fade it over the top and it does do a decent job, but you actually can do some different types of swerve catches and things like that uh, to get this open. The other thing that I didn't talk about though is the beauty of this stock fade. So because it's a stock fade, it really does a good job of like naturally fading to the outside and we're gonna leverage that against this cloud. So really from the snap of the ball, it's not, you can automatically throw it. And you see it's a bang bang play, but it's pretty good dot um, against the cover too. And the beauty of this is that you um, can really get this route to the outside. So you'll see here that if I motion this guy to the left, you see it's going to bring this guy a little bit more inside. By bringing him a little bit more inside, it does give you a little bit of a different look. So I just want to show you that real quick. So if we move this guy this way and just kind of do these adjustments, um, what I really wanted to hone in on, though, is this stock fade and how this plays. So we've now moved the alignment to the inside a little bit. Once he's even, he's leaving, and you can kind of get that out there, but I wouldn't necessarily count on that specific element of this. I would go ahead and just keep him outside. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's how you beat cover two. Um, it's an easy way to beat cover two. There's obviously more ways to beat it. Um, we could go to something like, um, for example, we could go to something like four verticals, and we, you see here we've got this nice seam route uh, that we can hit to the X receiver. Obviously, most people, um, if you do double streaks, this is another thing that's going to help. So you'll see that the deep half will kind of angle forward, angle toward the middle, 
and you'll split to the outside. So that's something else that you can you can easily uh, kind of mix into your offense. Um, this cross route is actually a really important route in this play. And the reason why is because it does get the attention of the safety. So you see here, even backed off cover two, pass lead to the outside, click on. And again, you're gonna see, we're gonna easily be able to dot up a 30 yard cloud. Another simple way to beat 30 yard cloud flats, and I don't talk about this a ton, but it is a very simple way to do this. If they're just running standard little 30 yard clouds, just put a little five yard out route up there. You're gonna beat it every single time. So that's another little way to do it. But that's how you take care of the 30 yard cloud flats. One last little tip um, is a lot of people like to base align. So if they do something like this um, and they're base aligning their Tampa 2, this is gonna absolutely kill it. You can literally throw, snap throw it. Literally just snap throw it. It's open every time. You're gonna kill it, okay? So if you see base align, that is the route you want to go to. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the Arizona offense, I would encourage you. I'm going to leave a link to the guide in the description. But I also put an update into our True Fan membership. Um, it's a one-hour update video that literally details um, just this offense. And, and really it focuses heavily on beating man-to-man -man coverage because this is the best zone beating formation that you could possibly have. Um, this, this offense kills zone coverage. So... Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up via text message. My number is 208-218-6900.